Welcome to my Actel Power Tips channel. In this short video, I'm going to show you how you can add help information to your custom Excel functions. So our user defined function is working great. And if you press the FX button on the formula bar for the insert function, um, Excel shows the function arguments dialog box with the name of the uh, custom function and the, the names of the parameters and what kind of data that needs to be put in. What also will be useful is um, uh, some kind of help information description here, uh, which will help the user uh, put in the right information uh, for the different parameters of the function. So I'll show you how to do that next. So what we do is we go into Visual Basic in the Developer tab, and then we go into View, and you go into Object Browser, uh, or you can press the F button. So you click on Object Browser. This is already shown, and the default selection will be all libraries. And what you need to do is click on the drop down here and click on VBA Project. And in your um, in the results, you'll get a list of all your classes, which will basically be all your worksheets and any modules. And and on the right hand side, you'll have members, uh, which will be the subroutines or functions for a uh, for the module or number of modules. In this case, there's only one module and there's only one function. So what we do is we just right click uh, on the uh, function. And then click on properties and then the description box here that's where you put in or you paste in the description and click on ok then all we need to do is just go back into uh, the uh, worksheet and then when you press on fx insert function you'll see the uh, the information help information for the function sometimes unfortunately that doesn't work so what we need to do is we need to repeat the steps again um, and then we need to go back to the definition of the um, function and then temporarily change the function into a sub and then for the return type um, data type for the function is not applicable to sub so we disable it temporarily then we save it then we right click and then we select uh, object browser again, then we repeat the steps again, uh, VBA project, and then right click on your function, and in properties you put in the the member options in the the uh, the name, the description for your um, custom function in the member options dialog box. Then you save it, then you right click, and then you go back into properties. Uh, sorry, uh, view definition. And then you change the sub back into a function. And the data return type of the function, you re enable it. Then you save it again. Close the, the VBA editor and save the worksheet. And you work run, and that should um, get your description appearing in the function arguments dialog box. Thanks for watching this Excel Power Tip, and I'll see you soon on the next one.